This film is about falconry, an ancient sport that uses a trained raptor to hunt. Licensed falconers trap a bird from the wild and over the course of weeks take a wild and fearful animal and train it to accept us and hunt with us. This film shows how it's done. A beginning falconer may have one of three birds, the American Kestrel, which is shown here, the Red-Tailed Hawk, shown later, and the red shoulder Hawk. The bird is housed in a large aviary with protection from weather and predators. The aviary usually costs between eight to nine hundred dollars to build and is very large. The first step in training a wild bird is getting it to sit still on your fist. The next step is simply getting it to eat off your fist. To get the birds to respond to us, we must weigh them constantly, keeping track of their weight. If they are slightly hungry, they will respond, but if they're fat, they won't listen to it at all. Once you've trained them to sit on your fist, you must get them to jump to your fist. Even an inch is like a mile for the hawk. Once the bird is steadily hopping to your fist, you bring it outside and get it to jump about six feet to your fist. This is a red-tailed hawk. I blow the whistle and show a piece of meat and it jumps up to the fist. I take Jess's leather strings attached to the hawk's feet and put them between the fingers on my glove. The hawk is now securely tied down. Training the bird to come to the lure is very important. The lure is a red leather bag which you tie pieces of meat to. Even if the hawk won't return to your fist, it will always come to the lure. You also have to train the hawk to the hood. Sort of like a leather hat that keeps the hawk from seeing. If the hawk can't see, it won't try to fly away. After weeks of training and lots of money spent, the bird is now ready to fly free. They really will come back to us, and they don't fly away either. That's not even trying, That's how quick.